Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a puzzle, a solution and some tips along the way. So here I've got a picture here and I was going to do a cutout uh, around here. So I used the selection brush and went around here and then I did uh, the refine tool to refine it. And so I got a selection. So what I can do is to go Control C and Control V and that sort of cuts and pastes this here so if I turn off the bottom one then I can see what I've got. Control D get rid of the marching ants. So I've got this cut out but look around the edge I've got all this white stuff here. What can I do about that? Well there is a kind of solution which does work sometimes but if I go to filters, colors and remove white mat yeah it gets rid of the white but look what it does as well that's not good is it? Control Z to undo and uh, we need to do this uh, with a bit of more intelligence. If we look at this with View Studio and the Info panel, watch the A which is the alpha which is the transparency there as I move over here. So out here there's nothing because it, that's been completely removed but as I go into those white bits see the A is quite low. So in other words it's not very opaque it's quite transparent and it increases gradually as we go in there so this is something that we can use in fact you can always try doing what you're going to do and it might not be a problem because it looks like it here but the transparency low might be a, might be okay but we'll fix it anyway because it can be a problem and what I'm going to do is go to life filters and procedural texture here and then I will click on the plus there, which puts in a layer here. It goes cyan because red is starts off and it's zero, so it's left with green and blue. Let's turn that off and I'll go to A for alpha. Now this has disappeared because now I've set to alpha to zero, so it's, it's all transparent. If I put it to A, it all comes back again, so that's to its current value. But the secret is... Uh, round up, open brackets, capital A, minus, lowercase a, close brackets, star, which is times, and A for alpha. And what this is going to do is this round up, round it up to 1, or otherwise it's going to end up as 0, or if it's negative it's going to end up as 0, and then multiply by this A. In other words, what it does is it will let me delete or remove or make transparent any pixels which have got a low opacity at the moment. So, so if I hit enter on that, nothing's happening yet because that lowercase a there needs something here. If I insert a variable, which is this one here, and the first one it gives, it defaults through the alphabet, so the first one is a, and I'll just bring this back down here. And if I turn this up, let's go in a little bit closer to see what it's doing. And see the white around here. As I turn this up here, see the white there just starts to disappear as I turn this up. Because this is getting rid of the lower opacity pixels. So I can literally get do that and that kind of fixes the issue, which is kind of handy. I can even keep this, so I'll call this Refine refine because it's refining the refine well or you can call it whatever you like now if we do a save it to a preset here the first thing I do is to go up to the handbrake here here and click on manage presets and I want to put in my own category here so these are all different categories so I say create category I'll call that Dave's presets Click on OK. Now it's got Dave's presets at the bottom. So close that. Now I go to this one again. Click here. Create preset. And it will save this including all this stuff down here. We'll call that Refine Refine. And the category there is Dave's presets. So say OK to that one now. And that saved it. So now then. I can 
get rid of that. And in fact, I can even delete that procedural texture layer. So I got all this stuff back again. But now if I go to Live Filters, bring in procedural texture, I can click on the preset up here and go down to the bottom here. And here I've got Dave presets and here's the Refine Refine. So I click on that and there you are. It comes in, it's turned up to the value, but I can always readjust it. Anyway, there we go. And I hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.